Now, I call it the, the beginning of the spiritual calendar, right? So literally, like, we're in 2020, but God is in 2021, right? And he sets up 2021 through 10 days of prayer. Literally, that gives you, like, a whole revelation for what God wants to do. It will be life-changing, powerful, not just for a moment, but forever. 10 days of prayer, well, the words that come to mind, revival, reunion, it's a revival um, because, of course, it's a time when we come together for 24 hours of prayer and worship. And I think that any time that you bring the body of Christ together for the purpose of praying, seeking the face of the Lord, you can't help but experience some level of revival. Reunion because over the past five years here in Bridgeport, we've been able to cultivate such family relationships with other churches across the denominations, pastors. Um, congregants come together and it's like we see everybody that we haven't seen in a year and it's a lot of fun um, to fellowship with other churches so that's what I think of when I think of 10 days of prayer. Ten days of prayer is a season where heaven is open over our city and our region and we are privileged and honored to be able to participate and be a part of God's move in our community. And these 10 days of prayer have really enlightened me on how much God really wants us to be intimate with Him. We are in a season where we have to get back to God, back to the original relationship and fellowship that God designed and created. Ten Days has been open heaven. It's really been um, a realm of encounter where God wants to encounter uh, people to, to be the answer the world is looking for. Every year, uh, 10 days is the time where I look forward to resetting my life with the Lord, reigniting my, my prayer life, my intimacy life, and just taking it to a place where it's never been before. One of the most beautiful things about 10 Days of Prayer is the convergence of so many ministries and churches. It's many churches, right, one body. It's, uh, it's, many, it's many ministries, one church coming together, and it's beautiful because it goes against what the norm has been in church. 10 Days of Prayer is the time and season of the year where we get to know God and we get to be known by God. And when we walk out with the identity that we have in Christ and he begins to really show us who we are and what he thinks of us, it's a catalyst for the rest of our year.